Thank you. Thank you very much, Vardel. Thanks, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Good um, I thought uh, for the SIP, um, I'll, uh, you know, just recently we, re we read in the newspapers and it's come in all the news that the prevalence of diabetes has gone up. And in fact, I'm one of the researchers on that research paper that was published in The Lancet, uh, where we studied the prevalence of diabetes, it's a study called the ICMR in diabetes study. And we, we found out what is the level of diabetes and pre-diabetes in the whole country. And we found that it's gone up. We have more than 100 million cases of diabetes in India alone. 11% of the population above the age of 20 is, is diabetic. Now, what is more startling for us and for us in Goa especially is that the prevalence of diabetes is 26.4% in Goa above the age of 20. So it's 11% of the whole country, but in Goa, it's much, much higher, 26. It's the highest in the whole country. So that is not something we can take lying down. It is something that we need to do something about. Okay, and, and remember one thing about diabetes, a lot is known now, a lot of research is known about diabetes. We can actually reverse diabetes. You know, there was a time we would say you're diabetic and then you're diabetic for life. But no, we can actually reverse, even if you're diagnosed to have diabetes with proper, if there is D for diabetes, there's D for diet as well. So there's proper diet uh, control with exercise, with discipline, D for discipline. Again, you can actually reverse diabetes and that is what all of you need to keep in mind. It is not, anything to get depressed about if you've got diabetes, but it's something that you need to do something about. Leaving diabetes just there is a big mistake because diabetes is a risk factor for many diseases. Diabetes is also, as I keep telling you, is a, is a risk factor for cognitive decline. You're dropping in memory. One of the reasons for that could be uncontrolled diabetes. So having diabetes is not a problem. Not controlling the diabetes that you have, not detecting it early, that is a problem. So that is what we all need to keep in mind. Be aware of diabetes. Be aware of the fact that the prevalence is so high that any of us could get, one third of us could, could be having it. So we need to check ourselves. We shouldn't say, oh no, I feel fine, so I should not be having diabetes. I can have any sugar as I want. No, that doesn't work out that way. The reason we need to look into, you know, why we have so many people having diabetes. And the reason for that is lifestyle. The more we have the more we will invest on eating all kinds of food. There's more eating in restaurants itself because we can afford it and we can go out. Then, they, that, then we end up eating the wrong kind of, we end up eating oily food. We tend up, end up putting on weight. Obesity is one of the big risk factors for diabetes. You know, because we are obese, we tend to develop what is called insulin resistance. And because of insulin resistance, you know, insulin is there, but it can't act. And therefore, once we exercise, once we reduce our weight, our diabetes is back again under control. So that is what we all need to keep in mind. Bear in mind that diabetes is reversible. Hippocrates had said something many, many years ago, 5th century BC, this is many years ago. He said, uh, you are what you eat. This is something all of us need to keep in mind. Our nutrition is very, very important. Our hair is nice black and has a lot of glow because of what we eat. Our skin is nice and glowing because of what we eat. Our immunity is good because of what we eat. We prevent heart disease, stroke, dementia. You know, we control our cholesterol. We control so many diseases because of what we eat. Um, so it, it affects every, we, we, we have a proper bowel movement. It affects our GIT. You know, it's because of what we eat. So our, our food affects everything. We need to be conscious about what we're eating. We need to eat, we need to be happy, uh, but we need to control ourselves. And, and remember that the SIP, SIP is, is, is there. You need to be sweet people, but you need to keep your diabetes under control. So that's my SIP for the day. So all the very best.